And if a guy tells you he wants to cuddle, it does not mean cuddling, y'all. Hey guys, welcome back to Eat with Justine. And today I have oven fried wings and mango salad. I got this request specifically from Miss Jenkins and she follows me on Instagram and she's one of the people who are like, Justine, you need to get your shit together and start making videos again and I want you to eat this specifically. So she requested this and, well no, she actually requested, I'm, my mouth is watering because I'm so hungry right now. She requested papaya salad, but I couldn't go to the Asian store to get papaya salad, so I went to my local like regular grocery store and had they had green mangoes. It's basically like papaya salad, but instead with green mangoes. So let's eat. Which one should I eat first? Mmm. The mango salad, when I was making it, I put like five chili peppers in there. I don't care. <laughs> it's so good. It's so spicy though. But it's really good with the chicken. I love eating cartilage. Here it is. <laughs> the way that I cook the chicken is I oven fried it. I'm trying to like trying to eat healthier so instead of deep frying chicken I found like this recipe online I found like a couple different recipes online and I just kind of like picked and chose like what techniques I liked I couldn't put like a vague description of how I made it in the description box below which one should I eat this one no this one yeah. you see how golden brown this is mm. Mmm. The mango salad with chicken is so freaking good. And this right here is like the best part. <laughs> I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about how it's like to be single nowadays. <laughs> being single in 2018 is so much different than being single back when I was single like six years ago. Back then when you were single, you kind of had to like meet people at bars or through friends or, you know, stuff like that. Like it was kind of more traditional dating. Well semi-traditional 
But now, there's like so many different ways to meet people. There's like Tinder, you can meet people online through all different kinds of apps. Like I've seen people who've met each other like through Words with Friends or other like online gaming things and the world is just so different now. But I wanted to talk to you guys specifically about Tinder. <laughs> Tinder is like an amazing and horrible place all at the same time. So for those of you who have no need to use Tinder and don't know what it is, Tinder is like, it's a dating app. And basically it's like the shallowest thing ever. People's pictures pop up and you can decide whether whether or not you like them or you don't. And honestly, like, you look at the pictures first. There's profiles and stuff for people and they create like their own little biography or whatever. But you're straight up just looking at people's pictures and thinking, all right, would I want to hook up with them or not? And to me, like, as a girl, I didn't mind Tinder at all. You just, if you're going to get on Tinder, just be smart about it. It legit is just a fun place. where you can talk to random people, look at people's pictures, browse their pictures, and being newly single, I really appreciated the fact that it was kind of like, like speed dating kind of. You talk to people, like you send messages to each other back and forth and see if you like each other, maybe you'll exchange numbers, maybe you won't, maybe the messaging, like, because in Tinder, you can only message each other. Like, they don't have your phone number or anything like that. So, if you do want to give your phone number to someone, it's on you if you really want to or don't. And your connection outside of Tinder is all on you, like, whatever you want to do. So, it was rare that I gave my phone number out to people on Tinder. Because, honestly, a lot of people on Tinder... Are freaking d bags <laughs> straight up everyone knows tinder is a dating website technically like a hookup website that's how it started and i don't know oh 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 y'all look at that mm. Tinder is a place full of douchebags, but there are some nice people on there. You just gotta like feel people out. Don't give your number out right away to people. Just be internet savvy about it. I have had my fair share of talking to Dick bags. And people who like seem like they're really nice, they're nice people. But once you start getting to talk to them, I swear to God, guys are just so like quick. They will tell you right away, hey, I just want to fuck you. Like, okay. 
that's when I stop talking to you. <laughs> and if a guy tells you he wants to cuddle, it does not mean cuddling, y'all. <laughs> <It's>, no. <laughs> cuddling. Straight up. There's a lot of freaky ass people on Tinder. There's a lot of fake people on Tinder. There's my friends have told me stories how they've gotten catfish before. Girls, you know we go crazy on the Snapchat filters. <laughs> so that's one thing that really sucks. I mean, Snapchat filters are amazing. I love them. I use the hell out of them. But you don't want to, like, I guess, let them down too hard. <laughs> like, you should post at least, like, one really clear picture of yourself so that they kind of know what they're getting themselves into. Because when you go to meet these guys up, you're not going to show up with, like, a freaking crown of flowers on your head or doggy ears with a doggy nose. So, do them a favor and give yourself some leeway. Hmm. Alright. Ooh. Ooh, shit. Ooh. Like I said, I like Tinder. Guys would just like hit me up and they would tell me how pretty I was and like coming out of a relationship. It was kind of nice to get like this attention from people. So it was really like a big ego boost for me. And I feel like coming fresh out of a relationship, you need that. As a woman, like you need, hmm, what's the word I'm looking for? Validation. That your products are still good. <laughs> like you're still good enough to be out in the dating world and stuff. Because when you're fresh out of a relationship, you're kind of down. And it was nice to like get that ego feed that I needed. So that like when you go out into the real world, you're just not automatically like swept off your feet by the first douchebag that comes into your eyesight. You know? So that part of Tinder was really nice and it, it really helped me like to wade through all the bullshit that guys throw at you. <laughs> mm. Try eating chicken wings with mango salad. It's amazing. It's just like eating, like the flavors of it, it's like eating mango habanero wings. And it's so good. Mm. Done. That show was so good. Let this be a lesson learned to you guys. If you don't already, follow me on Instagram. Leave me comments and stuff of what you want to eat. Sometimes I'll just be scrolling through my feed and I'll see comments. I'm like, yeah, that sounds really good, actually. Let me make that today. And I did the special request for Ms. Jenkins because <coughs> she's been with me from, like, a long for a long, long time. <laughs> I just want to let you know I appreciate all of you guys who have stuck around and thank you thank you so much follow me on instagram comment on my pictures leave me like suggestions and stuff of what you want me to eat or things you want me to do i might do them who knows it's not like a guarantee that i will but 
I don't know, if I see it and I feel like doing it that day, maybe I will. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, click my face right here to subscribe. And until next time, guys, come back and eat with me again soon, okay? Bye!